Hi, it's Peter Moinen again. This is a call for comments and questions about the logarithmic pole model. And uh, this time I'm keeping this uh, video uh, pretty sharp and short, so I just uh, read through most of the things. Uh, so the objectives of the model have been since the beginning to produce stable particle-like structures, pole aggregates from our first principles using one 4D interaction and the least number of quantum rules possible. And uh, we certainly need to identify a plausible candidate for a 3D brain, uh, which in a large scale could have characteristics similar to our universe. And also, uh, one of the objectives is to find second or accelerations, which along uh, a 3D brain uh, converge towards the long range uh, ones, not modern physics. Mm. That is, Columbic and Newton accelerations that are proportional to 1 over r, to r squared. And uh, also to acquire the necessary, not excessive, degrees of freedom for particle properties from combinatorics and algebra, rather than from quantum numbers and rules like this in the standard model, or from a host uh, producing a host of unobserved particles, you know, like in many supersymmetry extensions, or uh, from extra dimensions. The constituents of the model are simply poles of two species, positive bits or bits and negative bits or nits. And the, these poles have a radial 4D potential uh, proportional to the logarithm of D, where D is the four distance from the pole. And the quantity related to pole of logarithmic potential is bank B, and it presents integer values uh, B is 1 for bit and B is minus 1 for nit. And uh, I postulate that bits and nits are equally many in the 4D system, uh, half n each, so n in total. Euclidean 4D space is there with the metric of the 3D brain that emerges uh, at the an expanding zero potential of the whole system and the time coordinate just aligns to a normal, a local normal of the, this zero potential. And the strength of the acceleration is simply um, 1, 1 over d and uh, its directions are uh, based on this uh, scheme of uh, rules of attraction and repulsion. And since we don't have a mass a priori in this model, I'm not talking about uh, dynamics, but rather of kinematics. So the acceleration of poles is always proportional to the derivative of the potential between poles. Just each direction is given from rules, and these attraction and repulsion rules, as shown in the previous slide, uh, can also be expressed uh, with these um, equations here, acceleration is negative derivative of following pairwise potentials, where uh, the potential between two pits is a logarithm of d, and between a pit and a nit, it is the absolute value of logarithm of d, and between two nits, it's a minus logarithm of d. And these um, Rules also um, are shown in graphs. To the left hand side, we have uh, for each kind of uh, pairwise potential uh, the uh, form of the potential, and uh, to the right hand side, we have the accelerations. And uh, noteworthy uh, is that uh, neat bit dipole has an oscillation around uh, the unit distance and there is a cusp uh, at the uh, unit distance and there uh, the deri derivative uh, of accelerations uh, or rather derivative of the potential it's not continuous and digging into the uh, details uh, you can calculate these through uh, I have done it on Excel it's rather simple uh, uh, thing to do. Um, the foundations are shown uh, more in detail uh, in my first video. 
uh, there is the geometry of uh, this uh, calculation. Anyway, we have a logarithmic dipole and we see um, as a distance, uh, function of distance r along the 3D brain, uh, the accelerations imparted to a knit that uh, produces the Coulomb accelerations. And uh, then um, let's see the next slide. The acceleration from this uh, dipole on a pit. Um, it has uh, well produces the accelerations of Newton Newton in uh, potential uh, up to a point. Uh, we have here number one uh, the unit distance that uh, as uh, order of magnitude is uh, near the um, Planck length. And uh, here we apply um, algebraic. Uh, trick uh, using the quaternions and obtain then the Newton acceleration uh, up to this point and uh, the model gives its uh, own uh, specific and non-infinite value at the zero distance. Further going uh, with this mass model, um, mass is produced from logarithmic potential um, uh, based on the number of constituents of uh, the aggregates and uh, uh, going uh, going through these, uh, I found that uh, actually I get um, a definite integral from zero to unity distance and uh, get factorials from there and uh, uh, just uh, fixing to one um, uh, known particle like um, neutron or the Higgs, in this case I have used neutron, I get the estimates for the masses of uh, many known particles. And we are still talking about just uh, one parameter uh, model. So what I'm asking you to do is to comment and post questions. I have been uh, thinking about this model and uh, many answers have not been <laughs> put on, on the video yet, so um, yeah, probably just by asking I will be able to give uh, some answers. Um, so please do send uh, your comments and questions uh, either on the YouTube channel Petri Muinonen or as comments to any of the videos. You can also contact me through LinkedIn. Thank you.